this morning. And now sing it. <coughs> Just follow your arms. <coughs> letters from my father in my hands in my hands written by my elder brother they are grand They are grand. They were written overseas. They are full of love to me. I'm as glad as I can be in this land. In this land. Father told me in those letters, they are grand, they are grand, that I could make myself no better in this land, in this land. And then I cried, what shall I do? For I have not read them through. Can he make me over new in this land? In this land. Then I read these wonderful letters. They are grand. They are grand. How the Lord came down from glory to this land, to this land. How he hung upon a tree, shed his blood for you and for me. Now his blood, it makes me free in this land, in this land. Afraid of dying. No, no, no. In this land, in this land, I can shout while friends are crying. It is grand. Yes, sir. It is grand. I can sing and shout and pray, and my soul can hardly stay. To a better land I'm going. Yes, we are. It is grand. It is grand. There will be no more cancer in this land. In this land. When he calls, I will answer. It is grand. It is grand. I'm going to leave at the break of day. Death's going to find a degree. I wonder what they'll say in this land, in this land. Well, Jerry, sing that song that you sang up there the other day, first time I heard you sing it, Heaven About the What's that called, Brother Randy? Did you sing it? Sweet. I believe there's a place called. The sunrise in the morning. I feel the wind blow across my face. When I hear the sound of little children playing, I know it's all. A part of God's amazing grace. 
and I believe there's a place called heaven, and I believe in a place called Calvary. I believe in a man, his name is Jesus. Bless us, the Lord. I believe Thank you, Jesus. he gave yes, his sir. life for glory, me. Glory, glory, glory. I was there yeah. the day my mother went to heaven. Oh, God. I held her hand. As she closed her eyes to sleep, I felt the power of 10,000 angels take her soul away to be crowned at Jesus' feet. And I believe there's a place called heaven, and I believe in a place called Calvary, called Calvary. What would it be in a and I believe in a man, his name is Jesus, <laughs> and I believe one night he came to me. Yes, sir. And that's why I believe. I believe one night, calling to him, he came to me. Yes, sir. He came to my rescue when no one else but Paul could, could do what he could do for me. And someone may say, What did he do for you? The rides the rider wrote, he picked my feet up out of the Mari clay. And he set them up on a rock. And this rock being Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is what my hope is founded on. Amen. And that's what I stand on is Jesus Christ. I believe He came. I believe He died. And as Brother Nate said, even in the beginning, I believe He was with the Father. Amen. And when they said, let us make man. And so then, I hope you'll pray today. Have nothing on my mind. Uh, was just enjoying Brother Nate and, 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 and the gift God has given him. And, and, and I love the gifts God has given our brother. And I delight and I feed among them. And, and, and I love listening to them. And, and, and you know, everybody that's a child of God has a job to do. And you know, and, and somebody may say, well... Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not good at singing. I, I and I sure haven't been called to speak uh, in public. And and what can I do? Uh, but your life that you live is just as important as any man that's ever stood here. Uh, that's your life today. And, and and the man that sits in the corner may be the greatest one in the house uh, because his neighbors and his friends uh, they look at him and how he walks and how he talks and how he. Can Conducts his life. Uh, I want my life uh, to shine to, toward men and women. Uh, I heard a little story one day, and a little boy was saying, and he was in the back of the house about five years old. Uh, I heard Brother Ivan say this, Brother Jason, and, and he began to say, The preacher was saying, God, he is so big. Uh, he is so big and so full of love that he could fill the whole world if he wanted to. He's so big. And this little boy was listening to the preacher. And then the preacher went on to say, But God, but Jesus, uh, He's so small. I'm afraid He'll come right down in your heart. And He'll dwell there if you want Him to. But you'll have to want Him to, uh, to come in there. And the little boy heard Him uh, speak of that. And after church, uh, uh, He said, Preacher, I heard you say, uh, Jesus is so big. Uh, 
and he and he can feel the whole world. And he said, "Yes, son, he can." And and as he put his arm around him, the little boy said, "Well, I heard you say he gets in our heart." And he said, "He does. He dwells in your heart." And the little boy said, "Well, if he got in me, I guess he'd be sticking out all over, wouldn't he?" And I can tell you today, friend, if he's in you, yes, he's sticking out all over. The world knows about it, doesn't he, oh, sure. brother? He knows who you are, and I'm glad of that. And I'm glad he sticks out all over. I want the world to know whose side I'm on. Now, pray uh, just for a moment of time. Uh, Brother Nate was speaking so wonderful uh, about love. Uh, and yeah, love, love. Uh, love is Jesus. Uh, God is love. Uh, uh, that's what it says here. Uh, God is love. Uh, and I heard the story uh, about a man uh, who was searching for God. Uh, and he said, have you seen him? Have you seen him? Uh, uh, have you seen him? And this young man was in college uh, and he went uh, and he was trying to prove uh, uh, Jesus wasn't here. Uh, Jesus just didn't exist. Uh, uh, that is just a myth. Uh, and this man went uh, and took a theology class uh, and he wanted to know. Uh, and every day uh, the professor was up talking uh, uh, Jesus about Christ uh, about how He formed the world, uh, how He formed man. Uh, and the man kept on saying, the young boy did, but have you seen Him? Have you seen Him? And the professor began to say, uh, this young man is disturbing my class uh, and I don't know how to deal with him. Uh, he just don't believe. Uh, and, and finally, uh, the semester was over, Brother Nate. Uh, and the young man came to him and he said, uh, uh, Professor, I've learned nothing this year. I want you to know I still don't see Him. But I'll tell you what, if you see Him, let me know about it. I want to find Him. And He said, I didn't speak, but He got five steps from the door. And He said, Matthew, wait a second, son. You're not going to find Him, but I'm going to tell you something. He He's going to find you. He's going to find you. And that's the way it is. And how is He going to find you today? This man went on and he just shook his head. 24 years old. The next semester rolled around and he got a call. And it was this little boy. And he said, Professor, I've been wanting to come to you. I've been wanting to talk to you. And he said, What is it, Matthew? He said, I've been diagnosed with cancer. I'm not going to live long. they just got a few more months to live, they told me. But I want you to know, I have been talking to him. And, and this morning, I seen him. I seen him. He said, son, where did you see him at? When I woke Jesus. up this morning, I looked at the sky. And I the thought come to my mind. He said, who made you? Who made you? Oh, I heard a voice. I made the heavens. I made the earth. I made the trees. He made everything green. Look around you if you want to find him. He's right here today. He's right here. Have you seen him? I've seen him coming up the aisle a while ago. In the little church. Child, uh, playing around. I seen oh, you. I felt him when I hugged you at the story. I felt him today. Aren't you oh, glad today that you know the master? Aren't you glad today that you know the king? Uh, this man said, Son, you're the best one I could ever have come. 
and talk to my class. Oh, no. oh, will you come? Will you speak to them? Tell them of your experience. Uh, he said, I will, Professor, if I'm able. And the professor said, he just got worse. And he went on and died. And he didn't ever got to come. He said, but I wrote uh, uh, his little story down. And every, every semester, I read it to the students. Uh, uh, you can find him uh, if you want to. Uh, you can find him. I'll tell you where I found him out. I got down on my knees one night. Uh, I began to call to him. And I felt him all over me. I heard him say, Arise, son. Arise and live. Who so follow me. Now I'm going to follow the master. Wherever I go. Oh, if I live to be a hundred, I've got my bag still packed. I'm going, if I live one more day, I've got my bags packed. The wire they packed. I'm waiting on him. I want to see him for myself. And not only he's going to call my name one day. Yes, he is. I'm going to answer his call. Yeah, take over. You can hear him here now. But you just wait in the morning. God, He's going to do. Open them little ears of yours. You're going to hear the sweetest sound you've ever heard. And rise, my love. And rise, my dove. Away with me. The wind is over. The wind is over. It's getting fall out, isn't it? The leaves are turning. Yeah, you can see on me. He's got some keys, don't he? Yeah, he does. Oh, Paul. oh death. He's got keys over death, hell, and the grave. Victory is in him. David said unto thee, will I cry, O Lord, my rock, be not silent to me. Least if thou be silent to me, I become too like them that go into the pit. Oh, but I'm glad he wasn't silent to me. I'm glad, friend, if you're seeking him, you call out to him. And if he's silent to you, you better pray a little harder because you want him to hear you. you. If you hear the voice 
of my hear the voice of my supplications, the writer wrote, when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward the holy oracle. Oh, draw me not away with the wicked. I don't want to go that way. No, no. I want to go the ways of the, of the old saints, of the old prophets of old. I don't want to go the ways of the world. They got their ways, and I've got my ways. And they can have their ways. I've been there, and I've done that. And now I'm here, and I don't want no more that. I've had a taste of bread. I've had a taste of hell. And whatever the master wants me to do, I want to do it. Uh, don't you, Brother Rodney? Yeah, I know you do, son. But I'll tell you what, yeah, come on to him yeah. and it'll be okay. I'm glad as the writer wrote, if you look in my heart, uh, you'll see that stone. Yeah, and that stone is Jesus Christ. Yeah. And he, uh, you know, yeah. who's holding who. He holds me by the hand and he leads me throughout the same. <clears throat> and I'm glad of that. What about that? I'll tell you. Them beautiful. Them beautiful. Now, as my few remarks, I'll bring to a close. I want to tell you today, Stephanie, I'm glad you're here today. You know, I'm glad that you're getting to tell, talk to your mother and tell her what I'm saying. And I can tell you to tell her as a young Christian, there are going to be things come up in your life. And there are going to be things that you just can't handle. Young and old alike, isn't it? That's just the way it is. Yeah. But That's we just turn Jesus. it all over to Christ Jesus. and let Him lead us. Uh, he said, the writer said, I was once young, but now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Uh, uh, aren't you glad, brother? He forsakes us not uh, uh, or begging bread. Uh, aren't you glad, brother Henry? In your loneliest time at night, uh, you can call on to him. And he never goes on a journey. He's right there. He's pillowed my head so many night for the Jason. He's wiped the tears from my eyes so many times as I wept. Uh, as I wept mighty and I said, Lord, it feels like sometimes, God, I'm so far away from you. But, oh, friend, in a moment of time, I feel him just picking me up a little higher. I seen one time in the Bible that it was six miles. I wanted to know for some reason why, where, how far was it from the place he was born in Bethlehem yeah. until he rose the first man up. How far was it? And I looked and I searched and I and it's six miles from Bethlehem. And I just wandered in my mind a foolish thought, I guess. That's all right. But you know what? I don't know how far it is from here to heaven. But he came one night to me yeah. and he raised me from a baby state yeah. and I hope and I I'm on a new road now. Yeah. I